Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a part two of the independent studies um, talk that we had. Um, that was about a year ago. I did graduate. Uh, I actually said I was graduating that month. It didn't work out like that. Um, the, my teacher didn't tell me that I was low on credits and that I'm not going to graduate on time. So I had to rush through basically the whole summer that year and yeah um it kind of sucked i finished later than i was expecting um but it's cool now like i got my diploma i finished i graduated i walked so we're good um but yeah um this is going to be a part two like i said just uh questions you guys been asking on my um instagram and also on um, the YouTube video. I hope this is very helpful for you guys. Um, some girl actually DM'd me this today and she told me all her problems and all this stuff. I really feel for you. Um, I went through kind of like the same thing that you are going through. Um, so yeah, uh, she asked me a few questions I will be answering. I basically already answered them for her but if you guys are in the same boat, um and you guys want answers um i'm here to help so basically she's going through bowling um like everybody a lot of people that go to independent studies go because they're bu getting bullied or there's just troubled kids and they get kicked out of schools um but yeah you guys have to really stop bullying um because a lot of times it ends ugly people end their lives their lives are big deals. Um, you being a hater or you being rude or mad at the world, um, people actually lose their lives for it. So it's not really a big deal to bully people. Um, I don't like bullying has been going on for so long. I don't get what people get out of it and what like what's the point of it. It's just really upsetting, you know, that people actually lose their lives, you know, because of bullying. Like, it's just so annoying. But this is going to be a positive video, and I'll probably get comments. Hopefully I don't. Because uh, this, my channel is really positive. Uh, I never get hate comments. Um, so I don't want to start now. But let's get to the questions. So the first one, uh, it says, does it affect me in college? So I'm pretty sure what she meant as when she applies to colleges and they see like, oh, her diploma is from a continuation school. Um, that should not matter. It's still school. You still got the diploma. You still graduated. And actually, when I graduated, a um, guy I know, he got accepted to a college, you know, he got accepted to a college. So in a way depending on your school or depending on your your teacher they'll go that extra mile and help you get into college and get accepted to a college um so that shouldn't be a problem at all and then it says do you have to go back after a while of being in independent studies or is it optional so it is optional um i actually went back um i think i went to independent studies sophomore year and then I went back for a while, like two weeks probably in junior year. And then I went back right away because I didn't, it wasn't the same. Like I just, I just didn't, no, it wasn't for me. So I went back and then I came back to independent studies and I graduated. So, um, yeah, it's basically your choice. You're registered in that school. So all you have to do is get your paperwork, say, oh, no, I want to go back to regular school to graduate with my old friends or whatever. Why you want to go back, you can go back. You just have to go through the whole um, register um, and, like, get papers, get your uh, report cards, all that stuff that they need. Um, and then someone else wrote, do you ever miss uh, your social life? I did. For a while, I did miss um, talking to my friends, hanging out, um, all that stuff. I did miss it. But then again, I'm like, no, like, my friends were pretty whack. Like, sorry, but they were, like, kind of lame. 
um, so I didn't, in a way, miss them. And then um, prom and, like, Sadie's and all that, I did miss out on that. I don't, to this day, like, it doesn't affect me. It never, like, it sucked, kind of, at the time. But I wasn't, like, crying over it or really upset about it. So, yeah. And then it says, did your teachers help you to apply for colleges in 12th grade? Basically, when I was graduating. They offered to. The, um, I actually, at our site, we had a counselor that would just um, help us with college questions or help us apply for colleges and all that stuff. I actually did not want to for the longest time. I would always say, no, I don't want to go to college. Like, you guys are lucky I'm going to high school. Um, I finished high school, you know, like, college is not going to be for me. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, for the longest time I would tell the counselors, no, um, I don't need help, I'm gonna get a good job and just work. And they would be like, oh, okay, and then after I got the good job and graduated, they would still call my mom and, like, be like, oh, hey, does the man need help, uh, applying for schools and all this stuff? My mom would always say, no, she has a job, she's just working for now, and she's not ready and all this stuff. And yeah, um, I recently have been thinking of going to school. I've been talking to a lot of people at work. They're all going to school. They always ask, oh, it's not because of them, but they always ask, oh, are you going to school for anything? I'm like, no, no. And they're like, why? And it's always a conversation, why, you know? Um, but I've been really thinking, and I think I decided tonight that I might want to go back to school and actually go to college for um i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go for a filming filming school uh to be a producer or something i don't know yeah i have to really research because i don't want to go for nothing um but yeah i have a, a dream job that i want to do and i'm pretty i i believe in myself like that i could do it so it's gonna take time it's gonna take it's time to go to school and like all this stuff. I haven't told my parents yet, but I'm gonna tell them. They're gonna probably be so happy that I'm going to. Well, I'm thinking of going to school and all this stuff. It's just it's nervous. Like I'm nervous, you know. It's nerve wracking, but it's it's a good choice, you know. I haven't told anybody yet because I don't know. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going this year or next year. This semester, I don't know how all that works, so, yeah. Um, so, any other questions? I'm trying to think. Um, oh, if you are a independent person and you're good at math, you're a good student, you're a smart kid, you just have been, been bullying, you've been getting bullied and you're, you just have anxiety or whatever the case may be that you just want to go to independent studies, you'll finish, like, you will finish, like, there's no doubt about it, if you're good in school, and you're not a troubled kid, and you like doing your homework, and, like, you're on time on your assignments, you'll graduate, and you can finish early, so that's the cool thing, too, that it's just basically on you, your time pace, if you could do more than one assignment, then hats off to you. Um, but yeah, you can finish early. I hope this video is, um, was helpful for you guys. That's about it. Those are the only questions I had. It wasn't much. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And if you have any other questions, I will, um, respond on my Instagram, Maddie So Crafty, or on here in the description. You guys can leave a comment. If you have any questions, I will answer them. So, yeah, um, and sorry if I'm in my PJs, I forgot to tell you guys, it's late at night, I wanted to film this video, so I'm in my PJs and my hair is a little messy, um, uh, hope you, hopefully you guys don't mind, um, but yeah, that's basically it, I just want to come on here and, uh, answer these questions, because I've been wanting to film it, but then this girl on Instagram, she messaged me, and I'm like, you know what, people like me, people like her, there are a thousand people in the world, in the city, in the county, 
wherever you are, you, um, not everyone, <laughs> but a lot of people are going through that, getting bullied or just have anxiety going to school. And I was going through that for the longest time. Uh, I know how it feels. You're not alone. Uh, just talk to your parents about it and maybe show them this video and the next video and all the other videos that are these people that are just like you getting bullied or whatever the case may be um, show them and maybe they'll be supportive of seeing other people that are going through the same thing that you're going through um, but yeah <laughs> that, that's it I didn't mean to get so deep uh, in that but everything happens for a reason I hope you guys succeed in what your decision is and yeah yeah that's basically it I'm gonna go now <laughs> all right bye guys I'll see you in my next video